So allow me to show you how to use the Wix animation effects. It's very easy to do and you can follow along with me right now. So make sure that you're in the website editor for a simple website that you want to obviously add any animation effect to. So what I'm going to do is scroll down since I have some room right here. I'm going to go to the add element section and for this I'm just going to say use a button. A theme button is going to be fine. Let's do something like, how about new? Let's go with this. So I'm going to drag and drop this in here. Gonna center it, looks good, okay, perfect. So what we will actually wanna do is click on this right here, and from there, if you're gonna notice right here, we have our animation. This is just kinda like a square, just, you know, rotate, not rotating, but moving left to right is trying to show what that is. Uh, let's click on this, and you're gonna notice we have plenty of animations that we can choose from. So I'm gonna hover over these, you're gonna see bounce in, we have glide in, we have fade in, float in, expand in, spin in, that one's kind of cool, right? Fly in, turn in, I think you get the idea. Arc, puff, fold, that one really flies at you. Flip in, reveal, and slide in. I kind of like the slide in one. So let's say we wanted to utilize this, we can click on slide in, and then from there we want to go to customize. So there's going to be a few things that we can edit depending on the type of animation that you pick. For example, if you don't have slide in, like you might not be able to pick the direction. Like if it's the one that starts off really big on the screen and moves in, that's not coming from left or right, right? So that wouldn't be there, but we can choose from any of these. And when you do this, you can always click on the play to see how it looks. So if you want to come from the right, Let's see what you want to do. Top looks good. So the power is going to be like the emphasis of like how much you see it is my way of explaining that. So we can go with medium and we can go with soft. Like it's it's less aggressive. I, I think that's probably the best way to explain it compared to that. Okay, so there's going to be more of a uh, top drop, I guess you could say. The duration is going to be how long does this animation last? You probably don't want to make it too long. So if I do four seconds, it's going to be like as slow as molasses. Like maybe you want it to be that way. Maybe you don't. You could also do it really fast, make it a quarter of a second. Boom, just like that. Probably too fast. I think the sweet spot is around like a, one second, maybe a little bit more. Okay, and then there's going to be the delay as well. You can play around with that. I'm pretty sure like you can't really delay it on the preview. I think it's only gonna be when it showed in an actual preview on that. Like for example, if I test this, and then I change it around to like four, it's gonna show the same. Cause I think it doesn't want you to wait to see this. So you can also only animate on the first time if you want, but let's say we like this. Let's X out of here. Let's save it and then preview it. All right, so let's scroll down and you're gonna notice how it's not, there we go. That was the delay that we were showcasing. I think it was like four seconds, right? But anyway, that's gonna be a very quick tutorial when it comes to the Wix animations that you wanna utilize. Feel free to use these with whatever you like. I just happen to use the button there as an example. If you got any value out of this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up as it helps me out a lot as well. My name is James. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video.